Welcome to another Fantasy Goodfellows video where we talk about the 30 wide receiver rankings for week 11. Richard, you ready? Week 11, let's do this. The Fantasy Goodfellows. Boom, boom, boom. Good All right, before we get started, Richard, tell me how we did on last week's rankings. Okay, if we take out Cooper Cup, who was hurt during the game, we hit on 17 of our 29 receivers. Yeah, we missed on what should have been shoe-ins, guys like A.J. Brown, Jalen Waddle, Mike Evans, Chris Olave, Debo Samuel. So if you consider that we missed on all these guys that should have been locks, we actually had a pretty good week. All right, well, let's see if we can kind of do better this week. If you haven't watched our videos, let me just explain what you should expect. Richard gives us rankings. I use our stat machine to see if you agree or disagree, and hopefully this video helps you with your own lineups. All right, Richard, line them up. All right, first buys, Dolphins, Seahawks, Bucks, and Jaguars. And number one, Justin Jefferson, home against Dallas, I think the Cowboys are going to put up a lot of points. I think the Vikings are going to have to counter and put up a lot of points. And Jefferson's going to have a big game. And number two, Stephon Diggs, home against Cleveland. We just we just saw the Dolphins uh, destroy that defense. I think Josh Allen and Buffalo are going to do the same. And number three, Devontae Adams at Denver. It's a tough matchup defensively. Denver has decent cornerbacks, decent secondary, but Devontae Adams is a stud, and Derek Carr should be thrown to him 20 times. We'll see. We'll see what McDaniel does. McDaniels does this week. And number four, CeeDee Lamb at Minnesota. CeeDee Lamb had a great a breakout game, really, in week 10, his best game of the season. Let's see if that trend continues. I expect it to. And number five, A.J. Brown at Indianapolis. A.J. Brown had a dud in week 10. Um, I don't think it'll happen two weeks in a row. I think Jalen Hurts will rebound big. And number six, Amon Ross St. Brown at the New York Giants. I believe the Giants are, are you know, the record is a lot better than the team actually is. I think Detroit, well, I expect the Giants to win. I think Detroit can put up a lot of points against them. And I think Amon Ross is going to have a big game. And number seven, DeAndre Hopkins, home against San Francisco. DeAndre Hopkins has been, you know, efficient, catching touchdowns, making things happen for Arizona, regardless of quarterback. But obviously his value goes up a tad higher if Kyler Murray is healthy. And number eight, T. Higgins at Pittsburgh. We'll see how the Bengals rebound. When is Jamar Chase coming back? There are questions, but T. Higgins... Pierce to be the number one guy there in week 11. Number nine, Gabe Davis home against Cleveland. We saw Gabe Davis make big plays against the Vikings. He is their big playmaker. Stephon Diggs is, well, Stephon Diggs is also a big playmaker. But Gabe Davis, there's enough ball for Gabe Davis to make something happen as well. Not always consistent, but he'll have more good games than bad games. And number 10, Debo Samuel at Arizona. Debo had a dud in week 10. We said the Niners just love to run. But if they do pass and Debo Samuel's healthy, that's the other question mark. He, you know, he can make anything happen on any given play. At 11, Chris Olave, home against the LA Rams. We expect that whole New Orleans offense to step up this week after a horrible week 10. We'll see who the quarterback is. Maybe Jameis Winston will be the quarterback, and maybe that'll boost Olave. But I love Olave. Stud. And number 12, Terry McLaurin at Houston. We saw Terry McLaurin make a couple of big plays against the Eagles of all teams on Monday night. So against the Texans, he should have a field day. And number 13, Amari Cooper at Buffalo. Buffalo, tough defense, but... Cleveland is going to throw a lot. They're going to have to keep up. Mari Cooper will get his. And number 14, Christian Watson, home against Tennessee. This is kind of my surprise pick, but is it really? He just caught three touchdown passes in week 10. 
And maybe Aaron Rodgers, maybe this is what this offense needed. Maybe they maybe they need to start looking his way more. Just for that reason, he's coming off a hot week. We'll see how this week goes. I have him ranked pretty high. And number 15, Tyler Boyd at Pittsburgh. Burrow, Cincinnati, that offense, fire. I expect Tyler Boyd to get his up until Jamar Chase returns. And number 16, Michael Pittman, home against Philadelphia. Matt Ryan looked good. I know he was looking Paris Campbell's way as well. Um, but Michael Pittman is that stud on that offense. And Matt Ryan will find them often. And number 17, Brandon Ayuk at Arizona. We were just talking about how San Francisco likes to run. Yet here's our second receiver in the top 20. But Brandon Ayuk is a stud, just like Debo Samuel. These guys are playmakers. They don't need that many targets. So he's the best of what's left. And number, at number 18, Devontae Smith at Indianapolis. Devontae Smith scored in week 10. I expect him to, to make plays in week 11. We know Jalen Hurts is going to rebound. And these that off Philadelphia, they score a lot of touchdowns. Hold and on, number hold 19, on. Uh, it seems to me that Devontae Smith just ain't getting the targets and the usage, but you still like him. Yeah, because of the touchdowns. It's almost like Miles Sanders. A.J. Brown is the guy they love throwing to. Right? Jalen Hurts just throws to A.J. Brown a lot. He gets the usage. But, yes, he doesn't, Devontae Smith. But but when he does get the few balls he gets, he scores touchdowns. At number 19, D.J. Moore at Baltimore. Here's a guy that I, you know, I'm not so high on. We talked about it last week. I mentioned that last week. It's like we're ranking him based on one week's performance. He's never in the top top 30. Because, again, Carolina's had major issues at quarterback. This week is Baker Mayfield, who everybody knows I don't like. Yet, here we see DJ Moore again. Why? Because he's a stud. DJ Moore's a stud. But really, I think this is one more chance. And number 20, Joshua Palmer, home against Kansas City. Palmer's a de facto number one there. And we know Herbert's going to have to pass a lot. So unless, you know, Keenan Allen plays, Mike Williams plays miraculously, it's probably going to be Palmer getting a bunch of targets. So in PPR leagues, he's probably even higher. And number 21, Portland Sutton will be home against Las Vegas. It's a great matchup. Listen, if Russell Wilson can't do well against this Las Vegas defense, we're through with him. And Corlin Sutton and, and Jerry Judy, who might be hurt, we got to downgrade them regardless. But I expect Corlin Sutton to get his in week 11. And number 22, George Pickens, who will be home against Cincinnati. Pickens had a decent week 10. We know Pittsburgh's going to have to pass a lot this upcoming week. I think Pickens is the number one guy there. Deontay Johnson. He's getting more targets, but he's not doing much with them. He's just being a steady receiver. Pickens is the guy making – they're using him more as a rusher. He's scoring touchdowns. So I like him. I like him better than Johnson. And number 23, Darnell Mooney at Atlanta. We know Justin Fields doesn't pass for much. He's been running a lot. But when he does pass, Mooney's the guy, and they have a great matchup. And number 24, Kadarius Tony at the LA Chargers. We've seen him get more usage in consecutive weeks, and he scored a touchdown this week. I think Kadarius Tony might have a bright future in that Kansas City offense, especially if Juju Smith Schuster doesn't play this week. And number 25, Darius Slayton, home against Detroit. Slayton had a long touchdown. This past week, now he plays the worst defense in the league. There's a lot to like here. And number 26, Curtis Samuel at Houston. This is a good matchup. Samuel is a playmaker. The question here is, is Heineke going to throw the ball that much? And number 27, Donovan People-Jones at Buffalo. We know Cleveland's going to have to throw a ton. It's time for People Jones to make some plays. I think he's going to be fine in week 11. At number 28, Rondell Moore, home against San Francisco. 
Yes, this is Arizona's second receiver on the list, and we don't even know if Kyler Murray's going to play. But San Francisco, yes, they're going to control the ball with running, but they're going to put up a lot of points, and Arizona is going to have to pass often. And number 29, Alan Lazard, home against Tennessee. This is who I kept I kept touting as Aaron Rodgers' number one guy, the guy Aaron Rodgers is comfortable with. By the same token, the Packers haven't been winning. And then what did they do this week? They started going to Christian Watson. Watson scores three, and they win. So that trend might change. And number 30, Marquez Valdez-Scanling at the L.A. Chargers. And the reason why we're putting MBS here is Patrick Mahomes and because Juju Smith-Schuster may not play because of a concussion. So those are your top 30 receivers for Week 11. All right, let's just take a look at your rankings compared to some others. And I think the big one is going to be a little controversial. Christian Watson, you have at 14. Some other rankings don't even rank him. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Christian Watson hasn't hasn't shown us much all season, and then he comes and catches three touchdowns. But granted, the Packers were on a losing streak, and they win a game, and he catches three touchdowns. So this might be a positive trend for the future. It may not. This might be, you know, it may be nothing. It just may it may be an aberration, and that team may continue to lose. Or this may be a turning point. And Aaron Rodgers may be a top 12 quarterback the rest of the way. And Christian Watson, a top 30 receiver. Right now, I like him. Just based on a matchup. No, not matchup because Tennessee. Tennessee defense might not be, you know, it, it is not a pushover. But I, it's a positive trend. I like what I saw on Sunday night. And I think it will continue. All right. Another one I want to point out is Joshua Palmer. You got 20. Some other rankings, I'm at 26. Yeah, it, it's just, again, there, there's that question, right? Is Keenan Allen playing? Is Mike Williams playing? If they don't play, if they're not 100%, he's going to be the number one guy there uh, in in uh, for the Chargers, and he's going to get a lot of targets. So especially in PPR, I would rank him. I think this is about right. All right. And then the last two I want to point out is you got – Kadarius Tony at 24 and Marquez Valdez Scantlin at 30. Some other rankings don't even have them. Yeah, well, it, listen, the, the, the thing is, you know, um, Patrick Mahomes is spreading the ball around. It's tough sometimes to rank Kansas City receivers, but Juju Smith Schuster may miss this game because of, he may miss week 11 because of a concussion. If he doesn't clear the protocol, that's another top receiver out of the mix. So I think that's going to be really good for Tony and MVS, especially for Kadaris Tony. You see they want to get him involved in that offense. Thanks for coming on here and sharing your top 30 wide receiver rankings for week 11. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions, simply put them in the comments section for Richard. Any parting words? Love your team. You get what you give. Keep searching that waiver wire. Make sure your team is as good as it can be. It's crunch time. Those fantasy good fellas. Boom, boom, boom. Rolling on the field. Those fantasy good fellas.